Jenny. Welcome back to the Bookworms, buddy. It is time for Tuesday Talks, and Tuesday Talks is a group that I started with my friend Janelle over at Mrs. J. Rod's Reads. Each Tuesday we discuss book-related topics, and I will link to that group in the description box below, and you guys can go check that out. So last week's and this week's are on authors. Last week was favorite male authors. This week is favorite female authors, so I'm going to tell them all to you in one video. So now, since I didn't do last week because, oh wait, I was busy, and I'm going to do them both in this video. So it's like you didn't miss last week's Tuesday Talks at all. So I'm going to start with the favorite male authors. These are in no particular order. It's however they stack the easiest. So here we go. The first one we got here is Robert McCammon. This is Swan Song. This is one of my favorite books. He is such a great writer. He, I also read Boy's Life. That one also is fantastic. Um, it's post apoc He's great at that kind of writing. He's got that, I don't know, he's he's kind of got that, that Stephen King descriptive side, but his books flow really well. And I read this book like two or three times and I could never get tired of it. If you like post-apocalyptic stories, go to Robert McCammon's Swan Song. It also reminds me a lot of The Stand by Stephen King. So this one was really, really fantastic. The characters were brilliant. Robert McCammon is a great writer, one of my favorites and always will be. So there's that one. Next we've got here, you guys can probably guess, Graham Masterton. Um, I'm holding up books that are my favorites of, of theirs. And this one is Edgewise. You guys have heard me talk about Edgewise forever. And I got so many people to read it and so many people loved it. Graham Masterton is a great paranormal horror writer. And he mixes in mis or he, uh, historical and elements and just, it's just fantastic. There's historical and mystery and there's horror and he's just a great writer, and Edgewise is my favorite book by him, and it, there's no way you could get bored with it because something is always happening. The flow is perfection in his books. And, of course, I have to mention Stephen King because you guys know Stephen King is my all-time favorite writer, and it is my all-time favorite book. And um, a lot of people say, you know, it's hit or miss when they read Stephen King, and I can understand that if you if you choose a good book, a good first book to read of his, or maybe a good first or second, maybe third book that you really enjoy, then you'll you'll begin be, begin to understand his writing style. And he's going to have those stories that are kind of off the wall. And um, like I was trying to read Lissy's story, and I read that years and years ago, and I don't know how I ever got through it because to me it was just boring, and I just couldn't wrap my mind around it and yeah and I don't I don't do enough very many books by Stephen King if any um, but this one is always going to be a favorite it Stephen King is always going to be my favorite author so there's that the next one I chose of course was Jonathan Mayberry and this one is Patient Zero this is the Joe Ledger series and you guys know I have went on and on and on about Joe Ledger and the next book the last book final book in the series is sitting on my shelf and I've not had time to read it yet and I really need to get to it so I can wrap up the series and then read it all over again because Joe Ledger is one of the best characters I have ever read and Jonathan Mayberry is a very diverse awesome writer his books flow well no matter what I read if it's bio warfare or whatever by him it just I get into it because it flows so well and the characters are so well developed. He is such a good writer. Um, whether it's he's writing his adult series or his YA series, pick it up and give him a try. I'm sure you will love him. The next one I've got here is Brian Selznick, who writes in text and in illustrations. And he does all these illustrations himself which is very impressive because he is just, he's, he's amazing. He is absolutely amazing. And usually the written part of the book, the text part of the book, is different from the illustrated part of the book. But they somehow come together in his stories and they're just, they're amazing. They are absolutely amazing. And um, I loved the invention of Hugo Cabaret. You know, I can't even probably pick a favorite of his books because I loved all of them. He's got the invention of Hugo Cabaret. He's got Wonderstruck. And he's got 
the marvels and all of them were just amazing the next one we got here is robert b parker he is another of my favorite unfortunately robert b parker had passed away i believe it was in 2010 and he's got somebody else who finished up off his jesse stone series and i think he's got and they also wrote his spencer series as well i don't think i'm gonna get into a spencer series i like the the Jesse Stone series. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to wrap it up. I need to read two more books in the series and then I will just reread this one if I want to read more Parker. I'm probably not going to get to the Spencer one. But Robert B. Parker was known for his dialogue. I love, love, love all the dialogue in his books. The books, just you can read them in a day because there's so much dialogue and it keeps the story going and it's amazing. So Robert B. Parker is fantastic when it comes to that. I love his character, Jesse Stone. He's very flawed. He's very likable. Yeah, so Robert Parker's another favorite. And I chose one more. I'm sure there's many more that I just could not get my mind to work. But my the last one we got here is Harlan Coben. And what is that? Um, Harlan Coben, I have liked everything that I have read by him. He's got both a... Um, Young Adult series, and he's also got Adult series. Um, Myron Boltar is the Young Adult. Mickey Boltar, it, no. Mickey Boltar, I think, is the YA, and then Myron Boltar is his Adult series. I've not read the Adult series yet, but I have read two books in um, his Young Adult, and I think there's there's only three so far in that. I mean, don't don't mark me at that, but um, I need to get the third one and read that. But I've read a lot of his standalone books. This one's six years. It's, I loved it. It was fantastic. Um, like I said before, everything I read by him so far, I have enjoyed. He's just got a way of keeping you engaged to the story. The flow is great. He's got great characters. He's just, he's worthy of a favorite author. Those were the male authors that I cho chose, and I I discovered that I chose more male than, than female, and I, I guess my mind's just not, you know, grasping it. So, um, I only have four female ones to share with you, and I know there's more. I know there's more, but let's just get on to this. And we got here Lisa Jackson. You guys know Lisa Jackson is a favorite female author. She probably is my all-time favorite female author. Um, she writes just great story. This is the To Die series, one of my favorite series ever because just because of the, the descriptiveness that she uses, the imagery is perfect. She's got great imagery. You can always imagine yourself there and that's important to me. I want to be able to put myself into the story and feel what the people are feeling, whether it's the, the villain or the good guy. Um, so yeah, if you want to read books with great imagery, pick up Lisa Jackson. The next one we picked up here is Julie Kagawa. Um, this is the Iron Fae series, one of my f other favorite series. This is YA, and again, the imagery and, and the summer and the winter courts, and just you felt like you were in the story, and then the wrap-up was beautiful. And she's just an author that has the knack for writing. You can just tell it when you read the books. Uh, and it's just, it was it was written so beautiful. And this will be forever one of my favorite series. And I will, again, reread this series just, just to go back. Just to go and enter those courts and, and be with those people. And it's just, I could go on all day. But I read this actually with Brittany. And we both just fell in love. Fell in love with all of the characters in here. Good and bad. And just beautifully written. Julie Kagawa's got a great talent for writing. And the next one we got here is Winter Garden. This is Kristen Hanna, who is another favorite author. No, I've not read anything else. This book was enough for me to choose her. Um, just look at her covers. Um, the way she writes, the flow is perfection. This takes you to a place that makes you feel. Makes you feel something. And this one just really did that for me. And I know I'm gonna like the rest of her stuff. I just need to get the time and, and to actually think and read her stuff and then I can move on 
to everything she's written because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be disappointed with it. The last female author that I chose was Diana Gabaldon. Disregard this first book missing. My husband is now reading the Outlander series. Diana Gabaldon, this woman has got so much in her head. I don't know how she can go through each of her days unless she is writing because to write this big of books and to have so many, you've got to have the mind of, I don't know, Einstein? But just to have all this stored in her head and to write these books so beautifully. And this series I would never regret reading. I'm going to be reading book number six. I was supposed to read it at the end of this month, and i just not sure it's going to happen because... It was a really busy month, month helping my, my daughter get moved and painting and unpacking and, and then working on top of that. So I'm hoping this next month will be a little more settled. Yes, I'll be working, but I'll be able to take more time to read rather than running and doing this stuff, that kind of thing. So yes, Diana Gabaldon is definitely worthy of being a favorite author because the story that she has wound together throughout these books is perfection. And I think anybody could get involved and enjoy the story. And even the shows um, on Stars are are done really, really well. They take a whole season for one book. And it was really done beautifully, the first two. So um, waiting for the third season to come out, which is coming in September. And I can't wait because that was just probably my favorite this one and I can't tell you of course why it was a favorite but I mean it's it's pretty much a toss-up between that one and Outlander because they were both really really good they're all good they're all good except I stumbled on the fiery cross you guys know that but she is a great writer to have all that stuff stored in her head and to be able to put it down on paper for us to enjoy and read is an amazing feat um so yeah, those are my favorite male authors, my favorite female authors. Who are yours? Let me know in the comments below and we will talk about it. Thanks guys for staying tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.